All right, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, we'll be starting unit six, gene expression and regulation, we'll be looking at DNA and RNA structure. It's kind of be a review a little bit um, from a previous unit, but that's okay. DNA is the primary source of hereditary information in all living things. Sometimes RNA can serve as a, a source of genetic information, particularly in viruses, but viruses are not living things. And so uh, DNA is found in all living things. Um, it is packaged into chromosomes for cell division when it's passed from one or one individual to uh, next off the, to the offspring from parent to offspring. Um, but uh, again, there are lots of viruses that use RNA to code for genetic information, um, and those RNA um, bits inside viruses can actually affect living things because all living things also have RNA as um, genetic code as well. It's just DNA is that primary genetic code um, that makes up how organisms are, all their phenotypic um, traits. So here's a little bit about DNA structure. Uh, very similar, RNA and DNA are very similar to one another. Um, they both have monomers called nucleotides, and you can see this nucleotide is circled here. Nucleotide is composed of three parts. You got your phosphate, you have your five carbon sugar here, and you have your nitrogenous base. And the nitrogenous bases in DNA are going to be one of these four, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. Uh, you have some pairing rules associated with this. Cytosine always pairs with guanine. Adenine always pairs with thymine. Unless we're talking about RNA, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, both of them have this chain-like structure. Or, um, DNA has a double-stranded chain-like structure, and RNA has a single-stranded structure. I don't believe I have a picture of RNA. I don't, but that's okay. Um, and another thing, too, the there's a group of these nitrogenous bases that are called purines, and the purines are going to be uh, your adenine and guanine, are the purines, and the cytosine and thymine are going to be your pyrimidines. And the way that I remember that is the word pyrimidine has a Y in it, and so does thymine and cytosine. Um, some differences between the nucleotides, between RNA and DNA, um, is the sugar they contain. DNA contains the sugar deoxyribose, whereas uh, RNA contains the sugar ribose. Um, also, instead of thymine, RNA is going to contain the nitrogenous base uracil, which is also a pyrimidine. And then, of course, DNA is double-stranded and has this double helix look to it, whereas RNA is single-stranded and um, can have a helical structure, but also can take on many different forms because it is a more flexible kind of molecule, actually makes it less stable and more prone to mutation as well. And so just a little bit of difference here between eukaryotic and prokaryotic um, genetic structures. Prokaryotic organisms typically have circular chromosomes. They'll have a singular, single circular chromosome, and then they can have additional chromosome, additional DNA called plasmids. And those plasmids can code for several genes um, and can change. Actually, DNA, or these prokaryotic cells can exchange plasmid DNA, and this can lead to increased variation. Uh, the prokaryotic cell typically has a much uh, or much less diverse gen uh, genome than the eukaryotic cell. And um, the eukaryotic cell, instead of having a single circular chromosome, it's going to have multiple linear chromosomes, which we've seen, you know, like a human cell has 46 chromosomes, um, and they take on that X shape when they're duplicated, and that is what we mean by linear. They have they're more like a line as opposed to a circular system, and then there's going to be a lot more genes, too. Um, the human genome contains approximately 26,000 genes, a prokaryotic um, cell is not going to contain nearly that amount. Um, and the big deal, obviously, between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, as review, is prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus, so the, the DNA is just kind of floating around in the cytoplasm, whereas the eukaryotic cell contains all of its genetic material inside the nucleus.